American athletes rebounded in a big way on snow and set a world record on ice Sunday in Sochi. In men's alpine skiing, Bodie Miller bounced back with a bronze in the Super G event after finishing the downhill and Super Combined without a medal. In a tie with Canada's Young Hudek, 36-year-old Miller became the first U.S. skier to medal in three different winter games and the oldest alpine skier to win an Olympic medal. This is a really big day for me, Miller said. Emotionally, I had a lot riding on it. Even though I didn't ski my best, I'm just super, super happy. Miller's teammate, Andrew Weibricht, took home the silver and wowed the crowd with his thundering finish. Another men's event that was supposed to take place Sunday, the biathlon 15-kilometer mass start, has been postponed to Monday due to poor visibility from heavy fog. In the meantime, the American women fell short on snow. Lindsay Jacobellis, who has been haunted by her Vancouver crash in the snowboard cross event, had hoped for redemption in Sochi. But bad luck continues. She crashed again during the semifinals, which leaves Faye Gallini, the only American competing in the finals, finishing fourth. In ice dancing, U.S. figure skaters Merrill Davis and Charlie White pulled off a breathtaking performance and set a world record in short dance. The couple scored 78.89, giving them a 2.5-point lead ahead of their strong Canadian rivals going into Monday's free dance. Dazzled by their own performance, Davis said, I just felt like I was in a dream. It's such a surreal experience. Davis and White are in good position to become the first Americans to win an Olympic gold medal in ice dance.